All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another Art Talk. So today I just want to talk about always looking for different approaches and not getting in that place of just settling. You know, one of these different approaches may be that you find yourself always drawing pretty slow. So maybe draw faster. Maybe you find yourself drawing way too fast all the time. So slow it down, right? These are just a couple of the different ways. Maybe you're trying, you're, you're always using the same uh, medium, either if you're just doing it from uh, from the the hand to paper and maybe you're using a certain type of medium that you find like you know it's not really changing much so sometimes I've found by even just switching that medium for instance you could be drawing with just a regular pencil and all of a sudden decide I'm going to draw with a big old sharpie marker just to get big bold strokes and that can maybe help you find some bigger greater shapes that you need and then you can do whatever you want from that if you need to do a tracing over it maybe you're going to take a picture of it and put it into your computer and work with it that way maybe you're going to maybe you're using the ipad maybe you're using the cintiq photoshop sketchbook pro any sort of program that you have and just to switch up that different medium and try that different approach this is really just a way just to move you out of certain spaces that maybe you're even getting way too comfortable in and maybe you find that by using pen will help build up that confidence in your line. Maybe that's something that you're struggling with even in your line work. Uh, maybe you have a tendency to always hit undo. So you're not necessarily th really thinking through the problems. You're just like arbitrarily throwing a line there and then hitting undo instead of truly thinking about it. So there's different things that you can do in order to change your approach in your drawing and not settle. And this is really the heart of maximizing your potential as a designer and artist in general, just allowing yourself to work through this process, to work through those struggles, to you know feel it one day and not feel it the next day, and maybe create a whole new style that you didn't even think you were capable of doing. And this is that, that constant trial and error is what's gonna help you even decide what it is you really enjoy doing. And I know for myself, when I was learning, when I was training, I was just playing around with oil paint, acrylic paint, I, you know, whole different mediums and realizing what was working for me, what wasn't, what am I comfortable with, um, even from drawing programs. Like I find myself using a sketchbook is the, um, uh, the, the program that I really enjoy using over say Photoshop. I, I don't need all those bells and whistles. I don't need a lot of things. I don't need special pens, special uh, circumstances just to get going. And with Sketchbook, I found some certain brushes that I like and I use those and it, and it works for me. But that was through a lot of trial and error. That was just finding, going and downloading different brushes at one point just to see what was working. But it's again, it's very simple on that front and this is more so if you find <coughs> that you're struggling you're not getting that feel that could be one of the areas that you need to explore with just a little bit more all right so that's the real heart of today's uh, message is just don't you know don't settle and just to really just allow yourself to just try new approaches do different things and see where it could potentially take your artwork to that next level all right make it a great week and i'll talk to you next week take care